Hello Cancer, it's Tina from Trusted Truth Tarot. I am here today to do your March 2018 general and or love forecast. We'll see what the cards have to say. I'm so sorry this is so late guys. I am obviously behind this month. I will work on the April readings much earlier next month so I'm not this late. Um, but let's see what's going on for your recent past, present, and your future. Okay Cancer. Alright, um, so Zodiac Sign of Cancer. For the month of March 2018, recent past, present, near future. What advice, guidance, general insight do you have for the zodiac sign of Cancer for March 2018? What does Cancer need to know, please? All right, guys, while we're shuffling real quickly, um, if you're interested in a personal reading, you can email me at trustandtruthtarot at gmail.com. I'll send you everything you need to book one. Um, and I'm also on the Instant Go app uh, if you wanted to have a quick answer to a quick question. Okay. Cancer. Okay, if you're new to my channel, you don't know how I do my readings, my generals for the months are a nine card spread, it's three cards for your recent past, three for your present, three for your near future, okay? And then I also clarify and we'll do bottom of the deck as well. Cancer! Oh my gosh, I thought things were getting better for you guys. What is going on? Coming up. Oh, that's good. Wish there two. Woo. Okay, wow. Bottom of the deck, you do have the Sun card, Cancer. That's good. There's something, uh, you know, something coming in for you guys that's going to make you really, really happy in the month of March, all right? Um, and I think for a lot of you guys, it's going to be releasing something that does not serve you anymore, and I'll tell you why. So recent past, we have the Queen of Swords reversed, okay? This is all about miscommunications. Um, it's all about somebody being really nasty with some other, somebody else too, okay? Um, you, some of you guys are dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. doesn't have to be though. This could just be somebody either that's not communicating with you effectively or that whenever you talk to them, it seems to be like there's an argument um, you know, a disagreement. Like you just, it's just not being on the same page, okay? And this person can be irrational, when you talk to them, so you can try to discuss something with them openly and honestly, and they just don't want to hear you, okay? Nine of Cups reversed. Um, some of you guys, it's like you're, some, you feel like something you really were wishing for isn't coming to fruition. The other thing is, um, uh, for some of you guys, you might be either overindulging a little bit in some drinks, or uh, you might have somebody in your energy that's doing that, okay? The Magician reversed. Again, a card of Gemini, possibly Aries as well, but what we do see with the Magician reversed, guys, and I hate to see this one, is manipulation. So either you're manipulating somebody or somebody's manipulating you in a situation, okay? So be very cautious of that. Um, the Magician reversed is like somebody who likes to play magic tricks on people, okay? Um, he says one thing and does another. Um, not a very honest person. All about smoke and mirrors and things like that, okay? Going into your present, we've got the Queen of Wands reversed, okay? So some of you guys are dealing with fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, queen of Wands reversed, again, she's a very fiery, passionate woman, but she, when she's in reverse, she's kind of like this Queen of Swords, but almost worse, you know? This is somebody who can get, um, I don't know which one's worse, to be honest with you, but I just see um, it's like a heated, heated debate or a heated argument with somebody. This could be a love partner, this could be in your work, this could be a family member, you mean apply it to your situation as as it is, but um, you know, somebody that just is, is again, irrational, um, acts before they think, speaks before they think, you know, um, things like that. They're just not, not a happy camper, all right? Um, either that could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. Um, somebody that kind of goes like almost blind with rage when they get so angry they can't control themselves, you know? Uh, judgment reverse. Some of you guys are dealing with uh, possibly a Libra. That won't be that won't apply to all of you, but some of you. But um, judgment reverse card is you know a card of divorce, um, legal matters not going the way that you expected them to or hoped them to, things like that. Three of Cups reverse, guys. Third party situation. Dang it, dang it, Bobby. Could be dealing with another water sign too. Uh, you know, Pisces, uh, another Cancer or Scorpio, but. We do see this come up a lot when there's a, maybe a little bit of, you know, cheating, that kind of stuff going on, okay? Going into the near future, um, you have the victory card. I want you to keep that in mind. So that's really good, Cancer. Whatever the situation is that's like pulling you back, um, it's, it seems to be very tumultuous. And a lot of you guys are going through dealing with someone who's just irrational. I mean, I just see irrationality. If you guys are going through a divorce, it's like the other person is just 
it's like you don't even know who they were anymore, you know? Um, they're, they're behaving in such a way that you're just like, wow, I, I can't imagine magician reverse, queen of swords reverse, you know, queen of wands reverse, that this person could ever even think of acting like that. It's like you never even knew them, you know? Um, so anyway, uh, you do have victory over this situation, all right? So you do come out on top and victorious. And don't forget you do have the sun crowning your reading, okay? The hangman reverse, it's some of you guys need to make a decision um, and you're not making it. You know, you're procrastinating because you're just afraid, afraid of what's going to happen, afraid that you won't be victorious in it, but Spirit's saying that you will, so just keep that in mind. And then Six of Swords reversed, okay? Some of you guys are going back to a situation that was tumultuous, okay? You may have left the situation, the other, part, the other party may have left, whatever the case may be, but it's like you guys are returning into that... Um, really crazy, hectic energy. I don't know why you would want to do that, but, I mean, everybody has their own reasons for what they do and their own situations to deal with. But, um, yeah, it looks like some of you guys are returning um, to some sort of situation, or that person might be returning to you, okay? Um, so don't be surprised. If you're not planning on going back into this, you know, insanity up here, then um, so that person or that situation may be coming back to you, all right, towards the end of the month. All right, let's clarify here. Um, I'm just going to clarify a few of these. Queen of Swords reversed. Queen of Swords reversed. <laughs> Interesting. Definite air energy, guys. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but also about, um, again, this person. Queen, when Queen of Swords is reversed, I mean, she will literally chop your head off with words, okay? She she has no qualms. She doesn't hold anything back, okay? She's, she's very uh, communicative about how she is feeling and usually it's not very good when she's reversed okay um, and again it's it's like it's a lot of air energy but it's just miscommunications not, not I don't even know if it's miscommunications that's not the word nasty communication you know that's what I get why is the magician reversed a page of cups reversed so somebody may have come back and circled back and tried to reconcile with you or make some sort of offer or you know, offer of reconciliation, um, offer for you to stay in a situation, something like that. And it's, it's like they're, whatever they're offering you is bullshit. Essentially. It's not real. You know, they're just speaking words. They don't have any real emotions behind it. Okay. Uh, queen of wands. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are married to this person with the four of wands reversed, or this person lived with you or affected your household in some way. Okay. Three of cups reversed. Why is the three of cups reversed? Ace of Swords reversed. Let's try one more. I'm getting third-party energy with an air sign for a lot of you guys. Okay, and for some of you Cancers, this might be you have a water sign and an air sign or two people that you need to make a decision about. Okay, it's, this could definitely be you as the cups, all right? So we've got the Ace of Swords, right? Like you're trying to get something off the ground, but then you've, have, you've got this decision to make. And, and as you can see, it's like two, two guys, you know, dueling or battling over this girl here, all right? Now we have two two suitors there, all right? So you either need to choose between two different people if you're in that third-party situation and that is borrowed by you, or they're going to be choosing between, like if you, you might be the third party is what I mean. So there, it looks like there's going to be a choice that has to be made. It's a major decision as well. Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? High Priestess. Um some of you guys are dealing with someone with the initials B, J, T, O, R, or A. Um, but here, here we see the high priestess reversed, okay? This is, this is turning a blind eye to something, you know? And then we have the Knight of Pentacles reversed as well. I think for what it looks like to me with, the, with these two cards here, okay, it, it's like you want to be victorious. You don't want to, you don't want to feel like, you, you don't want to feel like you lost the battle, you know? So if you're struggling to save your marriage or struggling to save your relationship or struggling to save your job, right, and you're working really hard at it, you might choose to turn a blind eye to something, okay? Not acknowledging something that you absolutely know is, is real and there, okay? It's like ignoring something and hoping that it'll just go away, right? Um, okay. Let's see what the hanged man reversed it here is as well. Wow. The world. Yeah. 
so cancer, you know, you've got to make a decision. You do. You're, you're pretty much putting this whole, your life in limbo right now with the world reversed, you know, and the hangman reverse. It's like, you can't move forward. You don't want to move backwards. You don't know what to do. It's a lot of confusion, you know, but you're, it's, it, you're making yourself stagnant, you know, by staying where you are. Yeah. And then some of you guys, you're either going back to a narcissist or a narcissist is coming back to you. All right. So be careful about that. For some reason, though, why is the sun here? Well, two cards wanted to come, so let's see. Page of Swords reversed. You might hear something about this person, and this could be like gossipy stuff or social media stuff, okay? You might hear something about this person that kind of gives you a sense of satisfaction or happiness, you know? Um, or you might hear from somebody, possibly the fire sign there or the air sign, okay? Um, and that makes you happy as well. You might. It looks like there's some news coming in. Um, and it's coming in fast with the Queen of Wands, all right? But you do have the Page of Swords reversed there. Sometimes with the Page of Swords reversed, guys, it's about rumors. It may not actually have a lot of truth to it. So do be ca uh, careful um, of that. You might hear something or somebody might tell you something that brings you a sense of happiness. And you might, and it looks like it, this is coming in fast with the Queen of Wands. But mm, be careful and make sure that you really, you know, Really make sure that it's it's the actual truth that you're you're hearing, okay? Because sometimes with the page of swords, it's like reversed. It's it's like um, it's got a twist to it. You know what I mean? Like it's got a personal twist put on it, like like rumors, okay? All right, Cancer. That's your reading for March. Thank you again so much for your patience. Um, if you're interested in a personal, like I said, just email me at trustandtruthtarot at gmail.com. be more than happy to set you up with something. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys soon. Have a wonderful month. Talk to you later. Bye.